Hey, we're back again with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. Stu Jones here, president of the Florida Powerboat Club, along with our producer, Ryan McCoy. And we are hanging out in the Pompano Beach studio, having fun watching all these great memories from the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week in Destin. And this episode racks up number six with feature coverage of that exciting summer blockbuster, 29 years running. And this is a place that you have got to visit if you love boating. What a great place to live and boat year round. So let's pick it up as we catch up with about 80 Poker Run teams who are out on a beautiful Saturday in September enjoying the Florida Panhandle and all it has to offer. Before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our 2021 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats, Deep Impact Custom Boats, and their worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart, Mystic Power Boats, and newest to our 21 series sponsors is Cigarette Racing Team and their authorized dealer, Top Gun Yachts. Also, their Florida dealer, Chief Marine Group in Isla Mirada, Midnight Express Power Boats, Myco Trailers, Mercury Racing Wide Open, Performance Boat Center with two locations in Florida and Missouri, and Nortec High Performance Boats. In addition to our series sponsors, we'd like to welcome feature sponsors for the Emerald Coast event, including Alicomp Insurance. Emerald Grand and Harborwalk Village, our Poker Run headquarters. Legendary Marina Destin, our official launching and staging headquarters for the event. And AJ Seafood and Oyster Bar on the Destin Harbor, our official sponsor dock for the event. And our newest sponsor, Fear the River Poker League. So let's give you guys an exact location and a time. It is Saturday morning. The location is Destin Harbor, and we are on the docks at Harborwalk Village. And it's no coincidence that we have chosen the lovely FPC girl, Autumn, here in September to hand off the poker card. So let's continue here as Sandy Hanish picks up her poker card on this Baja, 27 Baja, her very first poker run uh, with the club. When she's not out boating, she's drag racing. George and Carrie Olson came all the way from Texas as they have many years. I can't even count how many times I've seen George and Carrie here, but I can't even count how many different boats they've had. But this mar lago is their newest. It's a center console manufactured in South Florida. Nice to see this mar lago out giving them some family fun with all their friends. And you better get used to seeing this team because they love boating and they love doing a lot of events up here in the Panhandle. Steven and Kelly Marino, and they've got a brand new Nortec that's been out on, oh God, about four in a row now. Four events since they took delivery last April. Now it's September and they have been busy with FPC and it's a family affair for them on every event. I always bring their kids and all their friends from Alabama. Now let's say hi to this team who are doing their very first event with the club, Rod and Sarah McLaughlin, all the way from Iowa in this 2008 39-foot velocity. Altogether, 2,200 miles they traveled round trip to come and join us, and they said they had an absolute blast. Good to have you guys here, and they said they'll be back. And let's welcome back JT and Brenda Byrne all the way from Texas in their 34-foot Nortec. And they joined us back at the Orange Beach event back in May. So here they are again. They must love boating along here in these Gulf Coast waters. No better way to do it than this Nortec 340 Twin Mercury Outboards. What a great package. And it's JR Adden and his crew. He lives in Georgia. He's got a home in the Florida Keys. He's a long ways here from home where he brought this 36-foot Doug Wright Cat Mercury Racing 450Rs. And he's really busy on this poker run circuit's already done about four events in this brand new boat. And the newest deep impact to join us now, Eddie Collier, all the way from Tennessee, just took delivery of team right now to Deep Impact 399 Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. That's about as pimped out as you can do at Deep Impact, but Eddie's a power sports dealer back in Tennessee, so that suits him just fine. And another team that came a long way to join us, Wayne McGee from Virginia. This 38-foot cigarette Top Gun with the 540s. Those aren't 540 EFIs. Those are the original 540 Bulldogs. This is a 1999 Top Gun, and it is one beautiful ride. And it's John and Connie Fami from Georgia. Their 34-foot Sunsation CCX Center Console Team Southern Yankee. Now a boat like this we normally call a stick boat because it's all dudes, but the ladies are actually at the house. They're going to pick them up at their new home along the waterway near Mary Esther and take the girls for lunch. So they'll be having everybody all united here real soon. 
And it's nice to see Bill and Meg Wiles back. Uh, they came from Texas again with their 38-foot fountain. They're getting to really love this event. And they also seem to like Key West as well. In their video bio, they wanted to introduce their crew. They've got Fred and Melissa Mitchell from Ferris, Texas on board, as well as Rob and Starball, who came all the way from Baltimore. And they've got the entire crew signed up to go on the Key West event in November. And here's a crew that we haven't seen in quite some time. Good to see Raleigh Trotter and his crew back in their 38-foot Donzi. Back then, it was in a different Donzi. I think it was a 33. I remember it was purple. Now he's got this really cool 38ZR, which is just a great Donzi to own. One of my favorite Donzi models ever. And it's time now for Team Loose Cannon. Uh, Steven Doomer from Mississippi in this 38-foot cigarette. And you want to talk about covering geography. They have a crew on board that's from Texas, Alaska, and Mississippi all getting together to do this very first poker run for this 38-foot Top Gun. They've got their daughter, Chloe, and their son, Jonathan, drawing the cards today. Let's see how well they do with their hand. And if you've been following our videos for a number of years, you'd be really familiar with this boat. It's Team Hammer Time, Ray Key from Miami, one of the very first Deep Impact 399s to ever been built. But uh, his big claim to fame is winning the Sexiest Crew Award time and time again. But never, ever up here. This is the first time that Ray and his crew and all these lovely ladies have made their way all the way up to the Florida Panhandle to attend the Emerald Coast event. Hey, Ray, his new 399 on order is going to be like a floating nightclub. And it looks like it's the Deep Impact Hour. <laughs> We've got a total of five of them on the run. James and Sonia Redding from Georgia and from Mexico, this uh, Deep Impact 399. This one's got quad 400s. They've done a lot of events with the club, but mostly down south. In particular, they love the Key West event, but this is their very first time attending the Emerald Coast Poker Run. They said they loved it because it was a lot smaller than Key West. They got to meet a lot of people. And now time for David Carey, and he is probably the Midnight Express version of you know, Ray Aki, who we saw earlier in the Deep Impact. And what I mean by that is that it's usually David and maybe one other guy and about four or five girls. So I like the way you roll, David. <laughs> he's got four beautiful ladies, and I know he's aiming for that sexiest crew award. He's won it many, many times. It's the Deep Impact royalty family. <laughs> yes, Mark and Eileen Fisher, they actually own the company. And uh, probably one of the reasons why we have so many Deep Impacts in the club They've been promoting the brand for several years since uh, Mark bought the company based in Miami, and he's had a lot to do with the development of the brand, especially this new 399 version with this completely restyled windshield and T-top. And followed up by another Miami-built center console. This is Don and Donald Haddon from South Carolina in their brand new concept, 4400. They named Dirty Little Secrets. Well. What they say is what happens in Destin stays in Destin, right? Well, they're just enjoying this boat so much because they can bring all their friends, and it's got quad Mercury Racing 450s. So congratulations to the Haddons on this beautiful new boat. And, of course, it's yet another Deep Impact, one we've seen a lot on this event, Beer Money 2, and that is the lovely Miss T reaching over for the card. Paul Bertucci and his lady, well, they do something different that nobody else does. They don't trailer anywhere. This boat comes on its own bottom all the way from Gulfport, Mississippi to join us for this event. And he's got our fellow club member Bill Robbins from Texas at the helm today, so he's just uh, chilling and sitting back enjoying the ride. And let's say hi again to Octavio and Karen Valdivia, who have a home nearby in Pensacola, but they're also from Georgia. They, along with the Haddons, who we saw minutes ago, are enjoying the recent delivery of their new Concept 4400. This one's a lot different than the one you saw earlier. It's a full cabin version, a huge cabin down below, and yet there is so much room in the cockpit, both forward and aft of the helm. You can still bring 20 people on this boat and have fun on a poker run. Their other boat is a 51 Outer Limits, and it's registered too. And it's a Nortec 390 pulling up uh, for their safety flag. No, no poker card today. Ah, oh, give them a card. What the hell? But they are the official safety boat. This is Team Real Gus. Uh, Chris Villar uh, couldn't make it today, but John Villar at the helm, and they're helping us out with the poker run. They have local Okaloosa County uh, paramedics on board who are going to follow the poker run pack and just make sure everything stays safe and be first responders if necessary. Nice to see Nick and Priscilla Buis get out for a poker run. They're a long ways from home, which is the St. Pete Clearwater area where the Statement Factory is. 
And, and the reason they don't get out much, well, they just got so much going on and they're so busy building these boats. This is a 38, kind of their staple now of their center console fleet, but they also now are making a lot of headway with the new 36 Cat. Let's say hi now to Shane Gidry from Louisiana, Team Relentless. It's a 388 skater, Mercury Racing 1100s. And they are also the owners of that beautiful yacht, Relentless, the 130 Westport that handed out the poker cards at checkpoint number two down in Sandest. And so we want to thank them for their support here at the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week event. And let's say hi to the Alberts now in the lovely Lana up on the bow getting her poker card. When she's not out boating with Mark and uh, having fun with their friends from Texas, she's driving around in her bright lime green Lamborghini. Girls, it's good to be Lana. And for you guys who pay attention to this stuff, you've noticed a lot of fountains. In fact, there are 10 registered fountains on this 80 boat fleet. There's always strong representation for fountain here at the Emerald Coast. Let's say hi now to the Floyds, uh, John and Cher Floyd, Tim and Kathy Morales, and this visual contact 111. Representing Team In Excess, uh, they normally bring their big 47-foot fountain. But hell, this Donzie with a pair of Merc 525s, well, she's got to be pretty turnkey. And no better way to wrap up this card segment than with the classic, yes, that 39-foot Sutphin, Bill and Evie Dahl. It's a 1991 Sutphin hull with Lamborghini power. That's right, V12s times two. That's 24 cylinders. But the man of the day, the man of the weekend here, Bill Dahl, one of the very first Florida Powerboat Club members ever, celebrating his 80th birthday here this weekend at Emerald Coast. What an amazing story. Well, guys, time for some more high-speed thrills. Let's get up in the air with our FPC photo and video crew in this R44 and chase down some of these teams as they head out on the waterways. And who'd have thought we'd be chasing down center console boats with four big outboards? Well, guys, welcome to the new normal. And boats like this brand-new Deep Impact 399, you're going to see a lot of them on our FPC poker runs. This one powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450s. And what a great way for Ed Collier from Tennessee to take delivery of this brand new Deep Impact. Go out and do your first poker run. And it was a family affair for Mark Bush and his team on this 24-foot Baja, joined by his nephew Chris and his sons London and Asher. They had a long ride here with a blown hub on the trailer, but a little bit of perseverance and a lot of phone calls between Mark and myself, and here they are having a great time. And with a little breakdown later, they ended up taking home the Broken Propeller Award. And it's nice to see some of the uh, club members we haven't seen for quite a while. Brent Medley, all the way from Missouri, probably been seven or eight years, maybe longer. And back then, I recall it was in a 38-foot cigarette top gun, uh, much like the one I currently own. But look at this, a complete reversal now in this outboard CAD, a 318 skater, 2017 edition, powered by Mercury Racing 400s. Not a bad package, a lot of fun. He comes from Lake of the Ozarks, so he's had about a 600-mile ride to get here. And along with his uh, backseat crew members, he's joined by his longtime girlfriend, Kara Hart. This boat looks very familiar to me. I'm thinking that it might have surfaced on the Tampa Poker Run back about four years ago. I recall it was uh, Ron Zolak and Chip Miller that I rode with, and we had a blast. And from that 318 skater with about 800 horsepower to this 46-foot skater with about 3,600 horsepower, I might be a little shy on that. These twin 1,850 horsepower Sterling engines power this big 46 called Team 22. It's uh, Jerry Swanson along with uh, his son Scott Swanson. They partner up with Jim Duff and do all these poker runs. Usually they bring about two, three boats. Uh, this time all we're seeing is a 46 skater. Of course, their other boat is that really cool looking cigarette AMG 41 Stern Drive. Everything they own is super fast. And it seems to me like Guy Wilson has gotten bit by the bug with this team peer pressure, uh, this 34-foot Sensation CCX center console. I believe it's about his third poker run uh, in this boat with us already this year in 2021. And uh, he's got a lot of other events planned ahead. So nice to have Guy and his team on board. Love the colors, the paint and graphics on these Sensations. They always look great. And it's family day for the Clarks here as they join us on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Been here before, 
Terrell and Clara Clark brought their son Trace. He just turned 10, and it was for his birthday he wanted to go on his first poker run. So this uh, turned out to be a great outing for the young guy. He said he had so much fun getting on the video and watching himself on the big screen at the party. Just listen in to this uh, 36 sensation with these big Mercury Racing 540s. They had a lot of great comments in their video bio, but one that stood out the most was that they really appreciated the new September dates. So much cooler and a lot less traffic on the waterways. And of course, the moment that we've all been waiting for, and this happens every year, and you gotta love how these guys plan things up, but it's Team Black Diamond, and on the left, that's the 34 Express, or Black Diamond Express, uh, 34 MTI Twin Mercury Racing 400s. In the middle, that is the big monster 52-foot MTI Black Diamond Mercury Racing 1550s. Probably about a 180 mile an hour boat with a full air conditioned cabin down below and seating for, get this guys, six inside the cockpit. And off to the back side there, well of course that is the big cigarette Tirana. A different camera angle now here from our 360 GoPro. That is a 59 foot cigarette with six Mercury Racing 450s. And what's that flying above? Well no, that's not our helicopter, that's their very own one carat. The six carat below has the six motors, the one carat above is a Bell 505 Jet Ranger 10 for those of you who really pay attention to that stuff. But they have lined all the boats up nicely. Of course they could be going an awful lot faster, but you don't want to be going too fast when you're trying to put together a formation like this and keeping the boats in close quarters for this big shot. Now we got a similar shot last year and we were able to put it into the Florida Powerboat Club wall calendar and we'll have to see if we can make this one work again. But this is just an amazing display of uh, skilled driving and it always impresses us and there he goes that is uh, the black diamond 52 hitting the throttles throwing that big rooster tail and there bye 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 gone and the one that they managed to catch up to this uh, black diamond express a 34 foot mti thing that's interesting about this boat is is one of the earliest 34s that came out of course this model's been around for about five years now they have maintained the boat very well Mercury Racing 400s, but what a lot of people don't realize is down below, uh, what you can't see is that they have a fuel cell that carries a 110 or higher octane, which is a greater fuel they like to pump into that Black Diamond 52. So basically they're hauling race fuel, and whenever that big uh, MTI needs a little squirt of fuel, they can pull up alongside, and they have a pump, and they can just do it boat to boat, right floating in the water. Pretty amazing display of engineering, and that's what you're gonna find from this Black Diamond team. They just have so many cool ideas when it comes to maintaining their fleet. And going to catch up now with Raleigh Trotter from Texas and his crew on this Don Z 38ZR. And uh, nice to see Raleigh and his team back. We haven't seen them for a few years now, so they've taken some time off and they're now back in this fourth dimension. And it looks like he's gotten attached to these Donzies, and I can understand why. This, in fact, is, I think, one of the most popular Donzies ever built. If we can remember back to factory class racing, uh, this is the ZR model with the open cockpit, but with the same bottom and a smaller cockpit that made the ZRC or the ZR Comp as they called it, which was the racing version. Basically the same boat and just such a great boat to go out and do poker runs and a great performing boat too. With only just a pair of 525s, you can usually get about 90 miles per hour out of these ZRs. So that makes them a great performing boat. And while they took a, a little hiatus uh, from building these for, for quite a while, they're now building them a full stream offered by Big Thunder Marine. I just got a chance to ride in a new Don Z38 TR just uh, about a couple of months earlier when we went on the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. And another team uh, just waiting for the helicopter to catch up as they hit the throttles and doing the right thing because sometimes it's good to just sit around and wait for the helicopter to get close and as soon as they close in you hit the throttles and the chopper is going to stay with you well looks like they got a little bit of a nightclub uh, going on here in the back as everyone's dancing away well they certainly have a boat that's big enough to have its own dance floor this concept 4400 uh, one of the largest center consoles in its class 
a huge forward cabin. If you had a chance to look in that cabin, you wouldn't believe it's like a, being in somebody's living room. It seems like just yesterday that they got this boat new, but uh, it's a 2020 model, and now that I think about it, they've probably had it more than a year and a half, and they have been loving it. Well, here's another Concept 4400, and indeed, this one is brand new. Donald and Don Haddon just took delivery of the boat uh, earlier in the summer. And so uh, I think their first poker run here on this 4400. Notice they've got some new Mercury Racing 450s, a different configuration than the last boat you saw. This one is entirely open, got the forward bow open seating. But of course, they still have a big uh, cabin down below that center console. I love the silver graphics. Notice how they light up every time they crest a wave. Here's a shot with uh, two 4400s running together. This reminds me of the concept owner's rally to Key West every summer. We videotaped the last event. We're gonna join them this year, July 8th to 10th. Concept owners going from Miami to Key West. Total of about 30 boats already registered. And on the subject of owner's rallies, it reminds me that it was Stephen and Kelly Marino who took delivery of this brand new Nortec 390 back in April earlier this year. And it was the Nortec Owners Rally uh, celebrating Nortec's 30th anniversary. That was their very first event in their brand new Nortec. And since then, they've been really busy throughout the year. Three events in a row, Orange Beach, Bahamas Poker Run, and now here at the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. Well, it looks like this is Boggy Bayou in Niceville, and that means we're heading out to another Poker Run checkpoint. Hi, my name is Angela Lee. This is stop number three in the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Well, that was a pleasant uh, introduction from Anjali here at uh, checkpoint number three. Yes, indeed, the Wharf 850. For those of you who didn't get a chance to go there for lunch, it's just a fantastic place. They have wonderful food and nice staff. And here we are now with Michael Bull pulling up in his 30-foot Eliminator, a boat he's had for well over 20 years, making it a family affair with his son Austin uh, this weekend. And I can honestly say I have lost track of how many times Michael has joined us for this Emerald Coast run. And here now is the Copelands, Al Jr. and Liz Copeland from Louisiana, and they're running their brand new Nortec 390. Uh, love the colorful wrap. They've got Mercury Racing 450s, four of them, both and on the back. What do they love about power boating? They said they love being on the water and being with people. They came 250 miles from Louisiana to join us, and it was a long break from the last time they were here. Copeland uh, race team came here with some big skaters and really put on a great show. And I really loved the graphics on this Nortec 390, and I gave them the best paint and graphics award for the event. And let's welcome back Tony and Jessica Gilo. They're really having a good time uh, joining us for these events. Uh, two years in a row for them here at the Emerald Coast event with their 39-foot midnight. They have completely refit and repowered the boat from last year. Indeed, we are getting some very creative uh, camera angles as this next team comes up. Uh, Kristen McCarty up on the bow, always looking fine. Patrick McCarty at the helm of their Nortec 390 Sport, a very spirited team. I always find some way to give them an award because they come here with so much energy and enthusiasm, and you just love having teams like this join us every year. And another uh, visit from the Collier team here, Eddie and his crew from Tennessee on this brand new Deep Impact 399 team right now. Just took delivery of the boat and having their first fun weekend uh, joining us here at the Emerald Coast event. And it's another Nortec, of course, uh, from Louisiana. Greg Bent uh, from Bent Marine and the owner, Robert Singleman at the helm. Uh, as they pull up in this 452 Superfish model, powered by Mercury Racing 450s. They do a lot of events with the club. Most popular Key West they do every year. They're here at Destin every year. And I know we're gonna see them at the Orange Beach Powerboat Week in mid-May. And for those of you who are looking at that T-top and wondering what the hell is all that hardware, understand that this is a hardcore tournament fishing boat, and that is a T-top that folds up become a tuna tower and you can drive the boat from up there so obviously they've got it retracted today because they're not fishing nick and priscilla buis are a long way from home in uh, st pete clearwater area where the statement factory is and when they're not doing poker runs and having fun out with their friends they're building boats and they built a lot of them this year statement marine is really on a roll with this 38 foot center console model and we're starting to see a lot more of their new 36 foot cats and one more time with Jeff Heffling and his first mate as they uh, pull up for the card. 
And just a safety note, guys and gals, uh, it's against the law to dangle your legs over the front of a boat, especially when you're pulling up to a fixed pier. Please keep that in mind for your next poker run. Well, guys, we know how much you like the fast stuff, so for this final segment, we're going to get back up in the air and chase down some of the boats. And a very special welcome to Sandy Hanish and her crew. Uh, their very first poker run, and uh, they've been waiting for a long time to do it. They bought a house recently here in Navarre, Sandy says, and she has just been watching the videos and waiting for this event to come back. They got the Baja so they can go out and do poker runs, and she says that the rest of the time they do a lot of drag racing, and Sandy credits her first mate, Happy, for coaching her through uh, the first learning curve of getting to drive this Baja safely. It's a great storyline, and welcome to this team for their very first run with the club. And it uh, looks like it's the Howells, indeed it is, uh, from Georgia and this 34-foot uh, Nortec team, no complaints. And the girls are having the time of their lives, just taking it easy. I think Bill is probably having the time of his life right now because he's just sitting there with a big grin on his face. And now catching up with uh, Team La Mexicana, James and Sonia Redding. They live in Georgia and they're also from Mexico. They made their big debut into poker runs uh, just over a year ago when they purchased this boat. And I'm told recently by the guys at Plantation Boat Mart that they have a new Deep Impact 399 coming very soon with Mercury Racing 450s. And I must say, I really love the energy of this team as well. They just come with such good spirits. Uh, they're always having a good time. And it looks like a little booty shake there in the front seat illustrating exactly what I just said about this team. So thanks, guys. Glad you're having fun on these poker runs. I can't wait to see the new boat. And it's another family affair with the Panapintos. It's uh, Mom and Pop and Junior. <laughs> Lance uh, and Paula Panapinto have been doing these events, as far as I can remember, maybe 15 years. And then Lance Junior was just a little guy, about eight or nine years old when he first joined us, and he's over 20 now. And uh, he's even got his own Baja. They're having fun today as a family on this uh, 30-foot Baja Outlaw team flying high. When they're not doing poker runs and traveling in their motorhome, they're flying helicopters in Louisiana. And let's say hi now to Curtis Morris and the Team Yahoo, this 36-foot skater. A great-looking boat. He gave us so many great comments in his video bio, but this beast has 3,000 horsepower, so we're going to let her rip. Well, we're giving you guys all the love we can with this big raw horsepower. Uh, these are Mercury Racing 540s, and Terry and Clara Clark are having a great time on the boat. But the special occasion is Trace's birthday, his 10th birthday, enjoying his first poker run with the family. What a way to spend your 10th. Happy birthday, buddy. That is truly an amazing sound. You're not going to match that anywhere else. These are Lamborghini V12s, uh, the Buzzin Dozen, he calls them. Bill Dahl, and he's celebrating his 80th birthday. Been in the club for 30 years with this uh, 1991 Sutfin, and he has done so many poker runs, we've lost track. But longest running club member, and he's just having a blast here at the Emerald Coast event. He's done this event many times. He trailers the boat all the way from East Peoria, Illinois, to come and join us year after year. And that just gives me chills. Guys, I don't know about you, but I just loved this episode. It had so much of everything, so many different cool boats, and the beautiful scenery and the backdrop of the Emerald Coast uh, waterways, and, of course, all those fun-loving people. It doesn't get much better than that, guys, and we have got more for you as we continue the coverage of the 2021 edition of the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. It's all right here on the Florida Powerboat Club's YouTube channel. And the only way you're going to see the next show is if you subscribe now and make sure you click that notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com 
for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.